Every Good Friday, Christians around the world remember the death of the Lord in Jerusalem. Every Good Friday, Australian Anglicans have an opportunity to share in supporting the church in Jerusalem and the Middle East through the ABM Good Friday gift. There are many complex issues facing the church in the Middle East. The Anglican Church is a minority church in a minority religion in a very diverse culture. There are lots of divisions that we hear about in the news and the Good Friday gift is a simple and straightforward way in which we as Australian Anglicans can share in supporting the good work being done by the province of Jerusalem in the Middle East. Work that empowers women, work that provides health care, work that enables young people to look to the future with hope. The Good Friday gift is something that Anglicans have supported for many years it's one of our great heritages in this, this part of the world and I hope that you'll join in supporting it again this year. Many Christians in Australia may wonder if there is a church in the Middle East. The Anglican Church has existed in the Middle East since the early 1800s and it extends from Iran in the east to Algeria in the west, Cyprus in the north, all the way down to the Horn of Africa in the south. It's a geographical area which covers over 22 countries. And the Anglican presence is uh, very strong in most of those countries. The Anglicans have a very important role within the Middle East because we are a bridging church. We are empowering women through ABM projects in the Diocese of Egypt. We are also uh, allowing young people to study and learn in our libraries in Addis Ababa. And we're bringing together 53 mission churches in the Gambala region of Ethiopia. Christians in the Middle East, especially in Egypt, recall the visit of St. Francis of Assisi. He came during the time of the Crusades, during the time in which the nephew of Salahuddin was the Sultan of Egypt. And St. Francis went up to the Sultan and he asked the Sultan if he could serve the Muslims. And the Sultan of Egypt said, St. Francis, what makes you different than all of these other Christians who have come here and are killing my people? And St. Francis said, don't just believe my words, but watch my actions. Later on, he was quoted having said, preach the gospel at all times, if necessary, use words. Christians in the Middle East cannot openly evangelize or share the gospel with their majority neighbors. That is, they cannot openly evangelize by word. But Christians in the Middle East have a great responsibility because we can share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through our actions. That is why we have clinics, we have hospitals, we have schools, with community outreach and community development programs so that we can reach the people who really need the gospel and we can serve our neighbors. And my coming to the Middle East is because the Middle East is messy. The Middle East is not organized as, as many would like it. The Middle East is full of its complexities, whether culture or religion or people groups. But the Middle East is an amazing place. The Middle East is the place where Jesus walked, where he lived, where he died, where he rose again, where his disciples were sent out into the world. We have that same opportunity today to go out into the world, to be disciples of Jesus Christ, whether we are here in Australia or in the Middle East. We have to stand firm for the faith that was once received from Jesus Christ, spread by the apostles to the disciples to each one of us.